Hello everyone, this is going to be Surviving Mars, Invent of India, I believe part 4. Last time around I got uh, the first load of colonists in and uh, a dust storm came in and we're part way through the founder stage, we got seven and a third souls uh, left on that, unless we get a Martian born. And... Uh, uh, Let's see. And apparently we don't have high enough uh, comfort uh, for uh, uh, children to be born, so that's not likely to happen. So, uh, what we need to do is uh, weather the uh, dust storm and uh, basically get some more colonists in from Earth as soon as we can launch a rocket. Anyway... Uh, let's uh, get time rolling here. Uh, now, something else I've adjusted since last time is I realized there was no game audio at all on the uh, recordings. So I looked in the settings, it turned out I had all the sounds from the game muted. Funny that. Uh, everything was muted, so there was no game audio. I have the uh, voice stuff muted because it's just annoying. Uh but I turned on the basic game audio, uh, like the sounds, uh, which may be annoying as well. Uh, fortunately, I'm recording them to a separate audio channel, so I should be able to uh, adjust the relative volumes if necessary. I will, of course, make a hash of that if it does turn out to be necessary, so, you know, uh, mileage may vary, of course. Now, uh... Uh, how are we doing here? Uh, there's a really good chance that uh, that we're going to uh, end up with uh, issues. Uh, anyway, we've got an anomaly here. Uh, right, um, so we'll send the explorer there. Maybe not such a good idea during the dust storm. They can break down, you see. Uh, but... Uh, even even though they can break down, uh, it's still a good idea to uh, research the thing. Uh, oh yes, we're researching crowdfunding as well, so we can get a get a billion dollars in uh, funding. Uh, because well, we're going to need that because I'm going to have to bring in some uh, resources, uh, probably food, before I can get uh, enough colonists online to run some farms here. So. Yeah, uh, now we're at, at a waiting game. We've got uh, a day, like a sol and a bit for the dust storm. Um, yeah, so eventually the dust storm will uh, end here. And then one of these rockets is ready to launch. This one. Right, so we'll launch uh, Naga number one. And uh, then we'll be able to get some... Uh, some, uh, uh, you know, the resources in because we need polymers as well. Uh, so we got a breakthrough uh, option here. Uh, Positronic Brain uh, allows the construction of bio robots in the drone assembler. Uh, they eat, uh, behave like people, but they never die from old age. Uh, that's only 2,000, uh, so, th so that would be worth getting, uh, once, uh, we have the drone assembler. Uh, yeah, uh, because then we have, uh, colonists, then we don't need any, uh, normal colonists. We just need, uh, bio-robots, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think there's an achievement related to that as well. Anyway, I... Uh, I've never really done that, uh, and of course that does lead to uh, unemployment uh, uh, issues. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's unemployment issues in the late game, anyways. Uh, right. So uh, the uh, dust storm has less than a soul left. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, 
Comfort's up to 65. Um, what the? That was a steam thing that popped up there, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw it. Uh, that was annoying. Anyway, uh, we have uh, run out of uh, uh, power, is it? No. Uh, drones without life, uh, domes without life, not enough power. Okay. Uh, we should be able to, to, uh, weather this though. Uh, uh, oh, hello. Oh, we, we had a birth. Okay, good. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I can't do much about it until this blasted uh, uh, dust storm ends in five souls, and that's uh, really annoying. Uh, okay, come on. Hurry up. Uh, right, so, uh, well, I probably, uh, could turn some stuff off here, but, uh, what if I turn that off and, oh, really? Um, Oh, let's see. Well, we're going to have to do that. Uh, <laughs> it's bloody annoying. Uh, right. While we can, let's launch the blasted rocket. Um, okay. Now, we finally got our power back online. Uh, oh, we found some anomalies. So, uh, Explorer... Uh, we'll scan the anomalies. Okay. And then... Uh, okay, so we didn't lose any colonists, but... Uh, yeah, we, we probably lost morale from that. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, so we have the rocket heading for Earth now. Uh, now I'm pretty sure when the Moxie comes back online we'll end up with a breakthrough uh, that will give us uh, better Moxies. Uh, right. Uh, we definitely need uh, crowdfunding to finish uh, so that, uh, be, like before we send our rocket back so that, uh, uh, well, no, I can start this uh, back up again. Uh, we need uh, another rocket to send home. So I'll have to bring resources first and then colonists, I think. Uh, new techs are available. Uh, Earth Mars Initiative. Uh, Earth Mars Initiative. Oh, that increases sponsor uh, research. That's good. Greenhouse Mars. Okay, we're not ready for the greenhouse gas factory yet. Uh, there's really not much point uh, doing the uh, atmospheric improvements until uh, you can uh, set up a uh, magnetic field to keep the atmosphere in. Uh, right. Okay, so uh, the rocket's two-thirds of the way to Earth. Uh, okay, we got uh, a notice here. Uh, okay. Oh, all of that just to say we have to go and repair our explorer. Yeah. Uh, right. 
So we have a commander here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we'll send the RC commander over there. That should bring a few drones and that should allow uh, repairing it. Uh, right. So uh, back over here. Uh, right. We're just about at uh, Earth. Uh, not having the polymers is going to be a bloody big problem. Uh, now the reason for that was the uh, dust storm actually, so, uh, right. Uh, gambling midst the stars. Uh, oh, okay, so one of our, uh, founders is now a gambler okay uh, right so now now we definitely need to get uh, this research finished uh, right uh, oh come on okay now it's traveling uh, I obviously uh, right, actually what I should do is, uh, well, what I'm going to do, no, I'm going to leave the rocket on Earth, I'm going to back the time uh, up a bit, is there any, uh... oh, we have polymers over there, and over there, and over here, well, obviously, I should be sending out the uh, transport. To uh, uh, to pick up resources here. Wait, which uh, that's uh, uh, metals, metals. Uh, polymers okay uh, right so uh, here we will pick up uh, resources here uh, we'll pick up everything and we'll bring it back to our storage area here right uh, Obviously, uh, I need to pay attention to this stuff. Um, right. Uh, where is this thing? Oh, it's coming. Uh, up the tempo again here. And uh, then we'll see what's, uh, what's doing. Okay, now it's uh, repairing our Explorer. Good. Now, uh, we can send the uh, commander uh, back home. Now, uh, we don't have any uh, anomalies. Whoops. So, uh, now we're just uh, waiting. Well, you know, uh, I actually... What do we have here? Uh, yeah, we, we don't have the uh, 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 workforce to uh, run the farm yet. Uh, we're, we need uh, a little bit more uh, research there before we can uh, bring resources in. Uh, okay, so now we've got some polymers at least. That's good. Uh, right. So our transport uh, will uh, head over this, no, we'll head o over here and uh, we'll pick up resources here. Okay. 
Yeah, we really need to get to the point where we can get a polymer factory online, but that uh, that requires um, uh, manpower. So uh, that's a little bit of a problem at the moment. Uh, right. So uh, we're just about to the point, though, where we've got the uh, crowdfunding. And once we do... I'll uh, duck back to uh, Earth, um, and here, uh, oh, that's ready to uh, launch, so I'll send in the other rocket back. Okay. Uh, good, so I'll have another rocket there to pick up uh, colonists on. Uh, right, just about crowdfunding. Good. So we'll we'll go here for a uh, cargo rocket. Obviously, we need some of those. For good measure, we'll grab some of those. Uh, now, what do we have for prefabs here? Uh, yeah, nothing really. Uh, that I want to uh, grab just yet. Um, I need to grab some food as well. And uh, yeah, so that should be enough to uh, keep us uh, operating for a little bit. And then once I get this next load of colonists up, I can get that farm online, and that will be enough to uh, feed uh, much of the colony, and I'll be able to get a second farm online. Uh, and doing that will help uh, immensely uh, with uh, 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 with keeping things operating. Uh, I'm just checking these, uh, checking to make sure I didn't miss a uh, upgrade somewhere along the way. Uh, at some point, I'm going to need to bring a concrete extractor online uh, pr over on this one, I think. Uh, but we don't need it just yet, so I'm not going to build it just yet. Uh, rockets are halfway through their journey. Uh, low storage for food, yeah, that's uh, that's why I'm bringing food in. Uh, right. So we're at a point here where there's just a little bit of waiting. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to take a look at this stuff. Uh, drone hub, that'd be good. Those would be good. That'd be good. Um, but this one is uh, probably a better one. Okay. Because uh, that'll increase our science uh, output, our research output, by 50% uh, compared to uh, what we're uh, at now. So. Uh, right, okay, so we just uh, picked up some uh, uh, polymers there in our uh, transport. Uh, right. So we'll go over here and uh, uh, and get the transport to uh, grab a bunch of resources here. Uh, all of them. And then drop them off here. Okay, and that gets that going. So uh, that'll keep us operating for a bit. And the rocket made it to Earth. And our rocket has made it back here. So we'll land that rocket. And now our resource problems are solved for a couple of sols. Uh, so that'll be good. Right, okay, 
Now we'll go uh, go over here and we'll do a passenger rocket. Now let's uh, look in the filters here. I can't remember what I did in here. Uh, uh, keeping younger people is probably uh, a reasonable choice. Perks. Uh, yeah, that's uh, still going to be reasonable flaws. Yeah, I think, think, I think the uh, the uh, quirks, tourists. Yeah, we don't want tourists. Um, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, and do I have any filters on there? No. Okay. Okay. So those filters are fine. So what have we got here? We got a botanist. A couple of botanists in here. Um. Right. You know, I'm going to uh, pick up. Uh, a few more botanists. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we'll keep the no specialization, leave the uh, engineers behind for now, and the officers. Um, Yeah, uh, right, so we've got too many still, so, uh, right, uh, yeah, we'll take that one out, uh, right, um, yeah okay so that's uh that's a, a rocket load uh good uh so that's going to be uh enough uh botanists to run a, a couple of farms i think uh efficiently so uh that will uh that will get things going so now we've got 47 polymers and 31 machine parts and 28 electronics so uh, we should be uh okay uh, for resources for the moment. Uh, and when this new batch of colonists arrives, I'll uh, restart the farm and uh, that should uh, that should get us producing uh, food on Mars, uh, which will definitely be uh, helpful. Uh, and once I get that farm online, I'll build a second farm because you definitely don't want to run out of food. Uh, starving colonists are not helpful. Now, uh, now what do now? What's the the power uh, situation? So our power demand is eighty one. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I may actually need to. Uh, uh, put up a couple more batteries uh, so that uh, we don't end up with that same issue that we had last time because these batteries they uh, charge fast but they can only uh, uh, discharge at 20 so uh, right but the problem is the batteries take polymers for maintenance and uh, and that's uh, slightly less than uh, helpful. Uh, right. So, uh, our colonists haven't quite arrived yet. Planetary anomalies. Um, what we need is the, uh, the technology that reduces fuel usage on rockets. That would be very helpful. Uh, what I'm going to do while waiting is I'm going to build, uh, a, for pity's sake, 
the UI for this game is uh, so totally different than the than any of the other games I've played uh, on what it does with the uh, mouse buttons that uh, uh, it trips me up uh, all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, put a couple of uh, more batteries up while uh, while we're waiting here and. Uh, Oh yes, the colonists are here, so we can bring them down. Now, this should get to the point where uh, I can turn the uh, the farm back on. Uh, okay, turn it on. Uh, now let's uh, open all the work slots. And that will uh, allow the, uh, there we go, the farm's full. Uh, okay, so we may not get a usable crop this time around, uh, but uh, that should be enough to uh, feed our colonists. Yeah, we didn't get a crop this time. Uh, but 17 in two sols, uh, that's... Uh, uh, not quite enough to feed our colonists, actually. So, uh, I am definitely... No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to build one more farm. Uh, where is it? Farm. So, I'll uh, put a farm up here. Uh, right. So, uh, because we still have unemployed colonists, so... I'll be able to uh, uh, give them something to do. Uh, what was that? Autosave? Yeah, uh, it was probably autosave. Okay, so this is uh, doing wheat. Yeah, that's about as good as anything at this stage. Uh, right. So uh, that should get us uh, enough uh, uh, food production. Uh, we've got uh, a full complement of uh, workers at one farm and almost a full complement at the other. So the next step, I'm going to end up bringing in another rocket load of uh, colonists uh, once I can send a rocket back. Uh, so this one is almost refueled. Okay. Uh, yeah, now it can launch, so I'll uh, launch it, of course. Because the rocket's doing no good if it's sitting around on the launch pad here. Now I need to uh, get uh, some uh, research stuff going here. So, uh, you know, get research uh, moving faster. So uh, I definitely need to uh, look into getting some stuff online here. Uh, what would be nice though is if we had any rare metals deposits. Uh, around which we don't um, but I'm gonna send the uh, transport out and collect some more uh, resources um, I really wish we had the uh, tech that allows uh, automating that uh, as it would uh, greatly help uh, right uh, okay so uh, we have we have sufficient water and power so uh, let's check in with our uh, dome here um, okay so our uh, residences are basically full I'm going to construct another uh, living complex here uh, and then uh, at, uh, when the rocket gets to Earth, I'll bring in one more uh, rocket load of colonists, and then that should be enough to get uh, uh, everything uh, all operational and get uh, some additional uh, dome services online. Uh, comfort, uh, okay, so shopping we need. Service buildings are full for relaxation. Okay. Uh, luxury. Drinking. Uh, right. Uh, so, 
Uh, what do I need uh, for, uh, okay, services? Uh, the casino complex, that's expensive to maintain. Uh, right. Okay. Right, okay, but I think the casino complex, uh, that would give luxury. Uh, it's big though, and it, uh, oh, it's expensive. No, no, not going to do that. Uh, right, the rocket's back, gotten to Earth. Okay, passenger rocket. Now, what do we have here? Botanists, medics, that would be good. Um, you know, I think that's probably a, uh, a reasonable, uh, mix. So we'll launch that. Uh, okay. And once this, uh, rocket gets here and the colonists are in the, uh, uh, in the, um, uh, dome, uh, we're going to need something. Uh, well, uh, let's build a space bar. Uh, and that will, uh, that should keep uh, more of them happier. And that, uh, yeah, so that'll be uh, that'll be good, and then uh, uh, obviously uh, until the colonists arrive, we can't staff it fully. Um, what I am going to do is bump the priority of the farms to the maximum, uh, just uh, so that. Uh, uh, we uh, don't end up uh, starving them for employees. I'm going to open uh, the uh, second shift on uh, all of these uh, buildings. And I think I'm going to need another uh, grocer or two. So I'm going to... Uh, build one of those as well uh, and once the uh, colonists get here everything will be staffed and it won't be a big problem uh, right and uh, open that shift and okay we got just a little bit longer uh, right that's halfway fueled okay uh, okay, so we've got a colony that's mostly working. Uh, I just need to get uh, funding, uh, a funding source online, which means finding some blasted rare metals. Uh, and the closest one is over here. 500, 536 of them. 390 okay so yeah that's the closest one uh, and that's uh, definitely going to I'm definitely going to need to get that operational but uh, what I need to do oh the colonists are here uh, what I need to do I think is get uh, possibly a polymer uh, uh, factory online uh, anyway this should solve the uh, vacant uh, work slots yep uh, okay so everything is full uh, for the moment uh, that uh, a great dust storm oh dear that's oh uh. right 
Uh, okay. Well. Uh, I'm definitely going to, uh, <laughs> I'm definitely going to uh, end the, uh, the part here. Uh, the Great Dust Storm could be the make or break of, of this game. Uh, those things are nasty. Uh, anyway, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's going to be it for, for this part. Uh, I'll, uh, get things rolling a little bit, uh, more next part, depending how that dust storm thing goes. Uh, and then, uh, and then from, from there, uh, I guess we'll see how the, how the game goes. Uh, anyway... That's all for this time. The next part uh, should be up on Tuesday. Uh, so I'll see everyone back next time.